Okay, so welcome to the Llama Defuse. And some of you may think this is not a very exciting node, but really this is the base building block of many, many materials. So let's have a quick look at the parameters. So the first one here is color. This is pretty self-explanatory. This allows you to assign the defuse color. And again, this is where you would input a Pixar texture node to drive this defuse with. And so next up here is roughness. And in previous lessons for the Pixar surface, we've had a look at this. As and this works in a similar way in Llama. So if you were doing things like paper or dust, you can start to increase this upwards. This next parameter here is where you would plug in a normal map or a Pixar bump mixer. And then this here allows you to art direct the shadow color that the defuse is cast in. And under the advanced tab, you have a number of other options. You have this energy compensation. And really, you should always leave this set to one. The only time when you would start to reduce this is if you're trying to match the output of a Pixar surface. This turns on and off the bump map shadowing. And then these lobe name and mat name. So this here allows you to assign a bespoke LPE for this defuse lobe. And this also allows you to assign a bespoke name for the mat. And so that's pretty much it for the defuse node. So let's move on to the next one.